Now if you have a list, like list 1, 2, 3, uh, you might wonder what is the first thing in the list, and that is the first function. So the first function takes a list, like the list 1, 2, 3, and gives us a 1 back, or on the list apple banana, it'll give us apple back. As you might guess, there is also a function called second. Um, we'll use that a lot less than we will use first. Um, and there's third and fourth and so on. Suppose you don't um, want just one item from the list, but you want to forget about the first item in the list and get the rest of the list. That is the rest operation. So rest takes a list uh, and it gives us back a list that has one less thing in it by taking away the first one. First and rest are together the opposite of cons. Cons takes one thing and a list and gives us a bigger list. First pulls back out the one that we gave to cons and rest pulls back out the three four list that we gave to cons. So cons, first, and rest all go together. What about if we try to take the first of the empty list? then we get an error back uh, because clearly there's no first of the empty list there's also no rest of the empty list so if you're going to use first and rest on the list you may need to ask is the list empty or not by the way sometimes we write the empty list this way but sometimes we use uh, a predefined name empty which is just an alias for the empty list so if I want to know whether a list is empty now that I've told you that we have the shorthand empty you could have guessed the uh, the test is empty question mark so an empty list is empty, whereas a list containing one, two, three, that is not empty. And then if we're interested in whether it's uh, not empty, another way to ask that question is, is this a list made with cons? So the list one, two, three could be made with cons uh, by consing one onto two, three. And so that's why cons, huh? Uh, it says true. Sometimes cons question mark we pronounce as cons, huh? Uh, while cons of uh, the empty list, that is false.